no picnic. I took the shot. See? I thought them picturesque at first. This man, the woman, the other woman, they seem to be friends on that broad summer lawn under those great old trees. They looked a well-off fellow, his comfortable wife, and her look-alike sister from the city, perhaps. People with a long history together, the way he finished her sentences, and then hers. The one I judged younger, possibly because she was blonde, kept rolling her eyes and grimacing whenever the first woman spoke, kept winking behind her back. A light breeze carried their words away from me. All I knew is what I could see, the way they spread a checkered cloth on the grass and shade, opened the wicker basket, and passed along wine glasses, poured red and touched it to their lips, savored shared bread and cheese almost like a sacrament. But later I still wonder why. There was sobbing in that grove. What drove the grief and fury of the one the others called Anne? Oh, leave it to a man to screw up everything. Jeremy, I told him, Jeremy, listen to me. This will be no picnic. Don't bring the best wine. No sharp knives. And why do we have to play these games anyway? Laying out a fine red and white cloth when you just want to tell her plain you want a divorce. Tonight you're going home with me. You said I was wrong. She'll understand would be all right. Well, at least we each downed a glass before old Anne began to snivel and whine and pine because her man now is mine. And I told him we couldn't just leave her there. We'd have to drive her back. <laughs>